Humza Yousaf quitting as leader of the SNP. Who did the best pun? I think we're giving it to the Metro today. Here we are. You've only got yourself to blame. Mm. <laughs> Nobody did better than that. He's, he's taking a drubbing today. Probably wasn't ever really up to the job, but then it was maybe an undoable job. SNP, this is the Times, SNP lurches into another crisis as its leader quits. So they had Salmond and Sturgeon and Yousaf and let's have a look at his resignation. Politics can be a brutal business. It takes its toll on your physical and mental health. Your family suffer alongside you. I am in absolute debt to my wonderful wife, my beautiful children. I'm so blessed for having the opportunity that are afforded to so few to lead my country. And who could ask for a better country to lead than Scotland? Thank you very much. What do you think, Yasmin? Sad. It's sad because, it, you know, I think there's a whole history starting with Alex Salmon that the SNP was in crisis, went from crisis to crisis. And it, whether I can, I'm in a position to say he wasn't up to it or not, I don't know, but he inherited a bad place and he wasn't astute enough. Um, but I'm saddened by it. Actually. Yeah, he's obviously a very decent man, but then again, out of his depth, Wilfred, or was it one of these things where that, that vase was always going to break when he carried it? It was always going to break. And what we're seeing is exactly what's happening with the Conservative Party. When a party has been in power for a very long period of time, you actually start to see them fall apart. And it isn't pretty. I, was, I thought you were going to say it's a lot of fun. <laughs> well, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> I mean, that's what, we, that's what we're like, here for. Oh, no, no, no. I just think it's just sad to see the whole thing start to sort of crumble. And they're going to have to reinvent themselves just exactly like the Conservative mm. Party. So I don't think any sensible person is going to put themselves forward as a leader at the moment because they must know that the actual party is in crisis. They really need to redefine themselves. How do they become relevant? Well, they've also got this overhang and we can't discuss any legal cases, but to do with embezzlement charges and mm -hmm. what the hell happened yeah. with the motorhome and yeah. all that st Sturgeon period stuff. Former SNP leader John Swinney has quickly emerged as the favourite to replace Yousaf. This is an old guy, Swinney. I mean, he's been around a long time. He's even been leader before. And he said he's considering standing as a unity candidate. Mm, mistake. Careful consideration to standing to be the leader of the SNP. I've been somewhat overwhelmed by the requests that have been made of me to do that uh, with many, many messages from many colleagues across the party. So I'm giving that issue very active consideration. Right. I don't know how many people called him. Hmm. Well, I mean, the unity candidates. Well, I, you know, I don't want, straws here. Uh, I don't want the SNP to just collapse because actually Labour, until the SNP came to power, really took Scotland for granted. Mm -hmm. um, well, and, they, they got 43 seats. Let's, let's uh, but see. they will now grab them all back, I think. You think so? No, 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 no. They'll, maybe half. They will. Maybe half. But their policies have failed. I mean, when you look at the SNP, they've been in power long enough, and the record for them being in power is something to be ashamed of. So they have to go and reconsider how do they move forward. I, mean, they I would, wouldn't be surprised if they don't exist. Yeah, I, I think I they would. I hope that's not. But well, okay. So there is there is going to be a party based on independence for Scotland. Yeah. Now it may be that Alex Salmon's Alaba party can yeah. take. But he's the yesterday's plate. man. It's, you know, all of these people. He's got one MSP. Yeah. I just think that Scotland needs, just like the Conservative Party, it needs new blood. Do you think this thinking. is the end of the devolution thing? No, I don't. No, I don't think so. I mean, no. I think that most people in Scotland still want Scotland to be independent. I think it's yeah. foolhardy. But, but we, uh, we had, I mean, in a small island, we had four different governments dealing with a virus. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? That was ridiculous. It was, yeah, but you remember Scott, the Scots never wanted to leave the EU. Isn't that crazy? Well, yeah, and they were told, <laughs> don't, don't vote for independence because you'll accidentally... Yeah. leave the EU, mm. and they ended up voting to stay, and they were taken out yeah. by England. Yeah. Anyway, this is another little vignette from yesterday. There was a uh, Deputy First Minister, Shona Robinson, was struggling to hear a Sky News presenter and made a bit of a slip-up. Right, just finally, are you in the running? <laughs> yes. You are in the running. No, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. Sorry. I thought you said, can you hear me? So it's really difficult to no, hear no. you. No, I am definitely not I, in the running. I can I make that absolutely someone, clear? 
Sean Robeson. There we are. That's why all this stuff happens when a party falls apart. Basically. But they may they may recover themselves. Alex Salmon was loving it yesterday because because yeah. Humza Yousaf tried to get him to commit his one MSP to support Humza Yousaf. Her name is Ash Regan. Mm. And of course, Salmon then comes out and says, I was called at 7.30. And this is what he said. You know, <laughs> he does a full chapter and verse on it. Mm. Oh, well, we shall and see what happens. All scores are being settled. Oh, yeah. And yes. he's got a few to settle. He has got a few to settle because he, he thinks that abandoned. they... He feels that they tried to get him jailed. Yeah. That's literally that. Yeah.